Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look right here. I think this is a very fresh and wearable yet colorful look. I used some purples, some pinks. Um, it's getting me very excited for spring, even though I know I shouldn't even be thinking about spring right now. I used the entire Act 4 collection from Estee Lauder. Thank you Estee Lauder for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. So Danielle Lauder is the great granddaughter of Mrs. Estee Lauder herself, and this is the collection that she made. It's not only stunning to look at, all of this like rose gold and like marble packaging is freaking beautiful, but it's also very functional. Everything is kind of like dual purpose. It's travel friendly, all of that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy the look. Please subscribe and let's get started. All right, let's jump into this. So I already used the Cinematic Complexion Liquid. I used this as a base underneath my makeup that I have on right now. This is perfect for under your makeup. It feels very smooth, very velvety. It's gonna smooth the look of pores, minimize the look of fine lines. I am an oily skin girl, so this gives a matte finish, which is great because if I want glow, I can add it in other areas instead of being just glowy all over the place. I love to look glowy myself, but I do like to control my oil. I like glow in a good glow. You know what I mean? So I used this. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this in the intro or not, but Danielle is really into like theater and acting, but also into makeup. So that's kind of like what she did to combine all of this. That's why the name of the collection is Act 4. And this product specifically is called Cinematic Complexion Liquid. So I love that she kind of like combined those together. I think it's a really cute concept. And I love that all of the packaging is all of this like marble and rose gold. It fits so perfectly in my house. I have two bathrooms that have marble actually. My downstairs bathroom has a marble countertop. And then my bathroom upstairs that is now finished, the whole room <laughs> is marble so this basically looks like it just fits in with my decor it just like sits right there on the counter and looks super cute but um yeah so i just did that and then finished up my makeup and now i'm gonna go into the party puff star lucent filter powder so this looks pink right here and when you open it up it comes with a puff and then underneath it you have the powder so even though this has this like pinky corally color to it it's going to seamlessly blend into the skin and kind of just like blur out any imperfections we also have the brushed by fame makeup brush kit that comes in this really pretty packaging here um this is something i feel like you could use this as a sleeve for multiple different things i feel like i could like slide this highlighter in here or something too um anyways this comes with four different brushes i'm going to be using this one to apply the powder there's also a blush and highlight brush an eyeshadow brush and an eyeliner brush now this does have a powder puff if you want to apply it that way i might actually try both i'm going to put this in here and apply this over the face this is supposed to reduce oil reduce the appearance of fine lines wrinkles all that kind of stuff kind of just give you that like blurring effect you can use this to set your makeup or add a glow i'm kind of trying to do both i feel like it does give a little bit of that pinky hue but it kind of just like mixes with my skin tone at the same time so it's very natural looking right what do you say wouldn't you say? So now I'm gonna use that highlight and blush brush that came in that brush kit, and I'm gonna use the Spotlight Highlighter. This has this really pretty like pearlescent marbling in here with like lavender and these golden tones. So I'm gonna mix these together and give a little bit of highlight here. It's gonna give a little bit of warmth with that golden tone. Also brighten up the skin at the same time. It's not gonna be like that beaming sort of highlighter that some highlighters are. This is more of like a glow from within, I've been eating my vegetables sort of glow, you know what I mean? This is the kind that I'm fine with putting on like the apples. Do you see that? It kind of just like hits the light just right. Which these are the kind of highlighters that I think are the most wearable. I feel like you could wear this outside and not look like you have like a beaming streak on your face, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna move into the Best Picture Multi Look Palette. Isn't that so pretty? I love this. This reminds me of a book my mom had back in the day and there were looks just like this inside of it, kind of like this watercolor sketch look. This has a mix of matte and shimmer shades. You can do something really smoky. You could do something very natural. You could even go colorful with this. Um, and I feel like these are very, very versatile. So I'm going to actually be using this top shade as my blush. I'm going to use that, um, blush and highlighter brush. Tap off the excess and just pop this here on my cheeks. 
And then I'm also gonna bring this in on the eyes as well. And it's gonna be very like cohesive and work together really nicely. So I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow brush that comes in the brush set. And I'm gonna be grabbing that top shade that I used as my blush. And I'm just gonna bring this in the crease here. Make it look very cohesive. Just keep building it up. You can blend with your finger. I love anything when you can use your fingers because it's just so easy. Also gonna look up into the mirror. Pop this on the bottom lash line. I'm gonna wipe off my brush and go into that shimmery pearlescent shade here and pop that on the brow bone. Ooh, girl, that is highlighted. Very, very pretty. And then with my finger, I'm gonna grab this and put it on the inner corners. Let me grab that highlighter brush. I'm gonna use that highlighter brush and grab that shade there and just pop it on the high points of the cheekbones. And now you've got extra dimension because you've got that like base layer of that highlight and then the pinpoint highlight of this color. Very, very pretty. Okay, I like really wanna dig into this purple. Hmm, how do I want blue leaves? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is grab the purple and start putting it in the outer crease area. And I'm turning my brush so it's not going this way, it's going this way. You see that? So I'm not going into the crease like this. I'm turning it this way so you can get a blend out of this brush as well. Bringing it underneath, of course, right at the lash line. And don't be afraid of this color here, this like lavender purple. It's not like neon, you know what I mean? Which is good because you can build it up. It's gonna go on very soft and be very like user friendly, you know? And then I'm gonna grab the charcoal color here on the same brush and just tap it here on the outer corner. And kind of just rub it in towards the center. You can even like flick it in. And remember if you're using anything on the top, you wanna look downwards into your mirror. Start with a little, and then you can always build up and add more. Okay, and then where did that go? I'm gonna go into the eyeliner brush with that charcoal shade, and I'm gonna focus this right on the lash line and kind of have it fade like from like nothing to a lot of that charcoal and then that charcoal is gonna like poof out into the outer lid area that we just did, if that makes sense. Very lightly get it very close in here and then poofing it out here onto the outer corner. Mm-hmm, you see that poof? It goes poof. Okay, so I just finished off the eyes with some lashes and mascara. You can finish it off however you normally would. Um, and now I'm gonna move on to the lips. So there are four different lip products in the collection. The first is this duo here. This is the Lip Duet Tint and Balm. We have this shade here, which goes on pretty sheer. I'm gonna use this just to show you. This is the kind of lip color that I personally would just keep in my purse. I love products like this. This is definitely a go-to color for me, but then the other one looks darker up close, but then when you apply it, it goes on more of that pinky color. This one I'm actually gonna apply on top of this just so you can see um, how it has way more color. It kind of gives you that like bitten look, you know? Very luxurious, just kind of like melts into your lips. Now I'm gonna go into the Lux Lip Cream. They have these lids here and you can actually put these into this container and swap out the lids if you wanted these or if you wanted like one of these colors with the other product, you know what I mean? It's all interchangeable, which is really cool. This one here is the Real Rose and then this one is Real Coral. I'm gonna put on the coral first. So you can see that. This doesn't go with my outfit, but whoo, that is gonna be a beautiful spring color. So this is the coral shade here. It doesn't really go with my outfit, but if I had on like a white shirt or something, I think this would be super, super cute. This is definitely super duper pigmented. It's got lots of color. You can see it's got some of the glitter left over on it. That's pretty. You could even apply that and then take it off if you wanted like a little sparkle. Anyways, I'm gonna go into the real rose. It's a very cool tone, a rosy pink. It's got some shine, very, very moisturizing feeling. And this is the real rose up close, so you can see how that one looks. It's got a nice sheen to it. And I think this is my favorite with the whole look, either this or the like lip balm duo. I might actually add a little bit of that on top. Kind of add it a little bit more rosy, you know? 
All right, you guys, that completes everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the tutorial, seeing how I got this look. Um, I love walking you guys through them step by step so you can see exactly how I achieved it. Um, and I hope you guys like this collection. A huge thank you to Estee Lauder for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. Let me know down below what videos you wanna see from me, especially in the new year. I'm kind of just like making a list of all of my video goals for this year. So let me know that down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.